All right, everybody, it's the next day. We're back at the pharmacy, the one and only, the big P. I think today we try to make this place look a little nicer, okay? Right now it kind of looks like the inside of uh, either like one of those hipster shops, like that's super minimalist, or like a Costco with all these boxes. I think we got to make this place look a little nicer, so I'm going to spend a little bit more money on trying to do that. So, where's the decorations? Okay, so we want the same wall paint, which is that blue. I don't know, let's buy two of those, and then we need we need some more tile of that black variety. Let's go and buy two of those. Well, that, that'll run us 500. Low key, 500 for a full renovation. Ain't even that bad. I feel like IRL, this would cost a lot more. So, you know what? I'm going to take that as a W. And then this time I won't paint from the outside. Let's go ahead and bring the paint inside. Bang and bang. All right, and then we'll get we'll kind of start trying to make the place a little nicer. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and pull out. Let's do painting first. Okay, dip that bad boy right in there. It's going to probably take a minute. Also, I'm likely going to demolish these walls eventually. But honestly, I think I need to focus on stacking my sh money for a little while longer, so likely this will be fine. And uh, to be honest, I'm still going to need to get like thousands of dollars to unlock the licenses for the green and red prescriptions along with vitamins and supplements and stuff like that. So you know what, for now, let's just paint, call it hunky dory. The other thing I need to figure out is how to put lights in this thing. I don't know why, but it won't let me put the fluorescent lights up. So I'm going to have to try my hand at those circular lights and hope to God the game lets me do that. I can't tell if it's a glitch or I'm doing it wrong. I genuinely have no idea. Dude, I'm hoping this paint makes it look a lot nicer. And hopefully, since I chose the darkest color I could find, hopefully it doesn't look too emo in here. Like this is the saddest pharmacy on the planet. The only thing I sell is antidepressants. Okay, and like, how do I fix the ceiling? Because that ceiling's mad ugly right now. Now right, let's pick the hammer. Okay. Luckily, the floor I won't have to dig up, so this will definitely not be a waste of money. There you go, and I don't know how a hammer is installing tiles. I feel like I would need, like, measuring, <laughs> you know, like, measuring tools and a saw to cut the tiles, but... Luckily, our building is perfectly, perfectly square. No chip tiles, nothing. All right. Our, our place is looking spiffy already. All right. Also, I'm doing actual magic, putting these tiles through boxes. Will I? I think I'll have enough. I don't know why it does that. It like, just like stops working. Like I went on lunch or something. Didn't I just put this here? Or am I tripping? Or... Oh. I swear I already put one there. Oh, I'm actually going to run out of tiles. I'm not going to have... I don't think I'm going to have enough. Because I need four more. And there's like one left. Oof. Right. Here's what we're going to do. Let's... Should we buy one more tile? Dude, I might as well. It's going to be a little bit of a waste, but let's buy one more tile. Only 100 more 20. 100 more 20. 120 more. Alright. This place is going to look nice. And then I'll have to look into what can I do about that ceiling? Because right now it's kind of butt ugly. That's the type of ceiling you expect at like the cheapest hotel in your city. Where like a bug falls in your mouth in the middle of the night. It's the vibe it gives me. I can't put tiles on the ceiling, can I? The place is not suitable. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to put tile on the ceiling, but I don't think you're giving me much of a choice here. Tile, floor. Okay, is there ceiling material? Wait a minute. Okay, I'm going to buy white paint real quick. Only because I'm curious. Can I can I paint the ceiling? This this might be the move. Is it? Can I paint the ceiling? Okay, let's bring out the brush. 
my god, I can paint the ceiling. Okay, that makes so much more sense. All right. All right, cool. So I was wondering, I'm like, no way they, they just only let me have the ceiling as <laughs> this disgusting brick. All right, well, we're going to need to buy a little bit more white paint then. But it's okay, because now I truly think our pharmacy is going to be up and bumping. We'll also have to buy a few lights here, but this white should also just, like, bring the place up. Like, yeah, guys, we're, we're an actual professional pharmacy, I swear. Uh, okay, I need... I gotta buy, like, a minimum of two more buckets of that white paint. I'm spending a lot of money on this. Hopefully the, the patients ex uh, appreciate it. Go hard, I'm trying for you. I'm not even tainting any of your meds. I am a real person. I'm a real, real pharmacist. All right. Would you look at that? It's all nice and painted. Dude, look how spiffy we're looking, man. All right. Time to get some lights. Now, like I said, the fluorescent lights don't seem to work. So let's go ahead and try these spotlights. Let's just buy like three of... Oh, square spotlight. Hold on. I don't like those let me buy the square ones let's just buy like let's just buy three and see if they even work because if they don't work then i'm not gonna spend more money which is like should be fairly odd okay see why wait the box ain't open open the box dumbo anti-place lights it's so dark in here man all right hold on someone Someone is saying that the only lights we can use currently are these circle lights. Let's buy like five of these. I have like spent over a thousand dollars on lights, bro. Let's see. Are these ones... Okay, can I open the box? Okay, bro. Seriously? Alright, that's weird. So apparently the only lights we can use right now are these circular lights. Nothing else work. Oh, I am missing a tile. How am I missing a tile? Dude, these things are just like disappearing. That's crazy. I swear on my mom I put a tile here. Like it was on camera, right? Like check check the footage. Luckily the floor I won't have to dig up. So this will definitely not be a waste of... Alright. Alright, well here we go. I guess we are putting up circular lights. Better than nothing. Hey, I'm just happy that I can put something up, right? I was almost scared that the current version of the game has no way to put lights up, and that kind of scared me. As long as I get a little bit of light, I am hunky-dory. Now, the other question is, can I move the lights that are currently there? Let's put one. Okay, all right. I think we're rolling here. What? Okay, see, why... Did I just miss that? Am I the dumbest person alive? How did I miss these walls? Yeah. Honestly, I'm gonna have to buy more white paint, dude. How much am I gonna have to spend on paint? This is crazy. Okay, uh, alright. We also should buy more of these lights. Okay, let's buy like five more of those. And then more white paint, dude. Oh my god, I'm spending all my money! All of my money, dude. It's okay, though. Put a light right here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go in a foreclosure. Um, yeah, like right here works. Dang. One more in the back. Oh, that is off-center. I don't know if I can move it, though. Hello? There we go. All right. So these ones are mostly straight. Wait, how can I... Can I not pick them up after? Well, that sucks for me. Again, I think I might need... One or two in the middle. Okay, there we go. Getting better, getting better. I think I might, for it to look real nice, I'll have to, well, actually no. I think that could work. Let's move this one a little bit more to the side. 
Okay, I think I feel that works. You got a line there, a line there, a line here. Let's go ahead and finish up the painting. And I'll have to take out a bunch of this trash. We should be pretty much good to go for the day. Start making some shmoney. So we spent a lot on this. And we'll probably hold off on expanding until we can... Why do I still have my watch on? That's crazy. I was just out. So I was like, I was feeling something weird on my hand. Water break. Everyone at home also drink water. Please. Okay. Are we chilling? All white walls? Alright. I think we're rolling here. Oh, this is a whole lot of garbage. Okay. And then th these are the square lights, right? Yeah, which that's unfortunate. Oh, I should probably move these to the warehouse, right? Yeah, let me take out the garbage though real quick. Also, we should light up the warehouse too. This, no, don't tell me I can't put lights in the warehouse. Oh no! Oh my god, this game is broken, dude. Okay, well... Um, well, I have extra lights now. What is even this? Oh, this is that fluorescent, which I also can't use. Okay, well, all of these lights will just stick in here until, inevitably, the game gets updated and we actually can use them. At least, I say I hope inevitably the game gets updated. Hey, if anyone knows the dev of this game... Link me to them. Alright, I think most of the extra stuff is now in place. There, Let me see, is there anything else? A lot of these are just product boxes. Which I'll just have to buy more shelves for. Okay, these tiles. Okay, so I got two more things. Okay, now the walls are clean. We've got lights. We just need to reorganize a tiny bit. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. We keep a similar layout. So what we do is we have all of the pharmacists kind of in line here, all the drugs in the back, and then all OTC stuff out here in kind of two sections. So let's go ahead and start moving these. And I think these are only, one, they're simply one ways, so... I mean, I guess I could have them back to back in a sense. Okay, let's make sure we have the snapping on. Right, like right there. And then the other thing is I'll have to buy more shelves. But I think I'll, I might need to go through a day or two of selling stuff. Because I spent a lot of money on the building. I'll just have to go through and make sure I build some cash up. Just to start. Let's see. Let's put that right there. And then that might be... Uh, well, actually, I do have quite a bit of space behind me. So we could potentially push further. But what I'm thinking here... So what does... Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. We could probably put... How far can we go? So could we potentially do something like this? Is it not going to light? Is it? Oh, is it too? Okay. And then we'll have to do that for both sides. And then we might actually have to expand a little bit. Okay. That works for me. All right. Let's buy three more shelves. And I know this is going to be very freaking expensive. But. Okay. At least this way, we'll just... We will able, we'll be able to put out the rest of our stock of stuff. Because I just have a bunch of boxes everywhere. I don't really like that. And also, I'm not making money if things are just stuck in their boxes. You know what I mean? I, I need to get these things out to sell. See, I don't know if I'm a fan of seeing the back of this. But I don't think I have much of a choice. Okay, and I think th this stuff... The pharmacists are gonna are gonna have to get moved back here for a second, and then I'll also have to replace, like these smaller shelves. Those will all have to eventually get replaced. 
there's no reason to have these dinky shelves if I have the option of getting the bigger ones. But again, that is going to require money. There's probably going to be like a day where I just, I do nothing but just stock and sell, stock and sell and do nothing. And then get like 10,000 and just splurge on more shelves. Honestly, shelves the most expensive part, which is hilarious. Okay, so you two are going to get moved for now. And I'll have them a little bit more up front. But just for now, I'm going to put them... Like, what I mean is, like, they're going to probably be here, and there's going to be shelves here, too. But since we don't have all these shelves for now, we'll just put them here. Put it, like, right here. Bang. I wish I... I wish... And again, the game just came out a little while ago, so I'm not going to say anything. But it would be nice to have, like, a little gate. You won't see a pharmacy without one of those funny little gates. Honestly, when, like, coming to a new pharmacy to work... The biggest challenge is finding out how to open their gate. And that sounds so stupid, but I'm sure anybody who's worked in the pharmacy can like somewhat relate to figuring out how to use their little little <laughs> like cowboy style doors. Okay, it seems like all my shelves are filled, so this stuff we'll have to put away. All right, and these scales I could probably move like over here. They have. This is a nice little spot that I can tuck them in. And then that way, when we start developing this side of the store, really won't be anything in our way. And the other important thing is to try to get patients out of here. So if they weigh themselves, they can kind of just go straight to the counter afterwards. So they can pick up, weigh, and then come and pay. Yeah, alright. I think... We're pretty much good to start the day. I mean, I don't see what else. Everything looks nice and spiffy. Now it's just time to get a little bit of money. Okay, so let's see. What else? What are we looking? So, pharmacy third shelves. We need a... Well, all of them are... All of our shelves are going to have to get replaced by that. We need another register for a third pharmacist. We still need both licenses. I think we're good on all that. Of course, we need to get more shelves and restock more things pay off our debt which is fine and then buy both of these and then really stock up on all these medications okay guys i bought a few of these level three drug storages okay so we'll, we'll see how those do i think did i did i buy three of them no, wait, I also bought some shelves. I bought two of these, and then I bought one more shelf, just because I thought, right here, I need another shelf. What's the point of not having a shelf right here? Bang. Okay, so this way, I can also put a little bit more stuff here. Okay, let's go ahead and move the computer so I can make room for... Actually, let's put this shelf closer since it's already got crap on it. There we go. That's what you're looking for. I literally moved it right when he was looking for something. Alright, now that we have a little bit of money, I think it might be a good idea to just get at least one round of some of these prescription meds. So, let's see. I think we have a Pixaban... Let's see how much it'll cost me if I just want one of each here. Ten. Okay, so I'll need to come back for those two. Ooh, 1900. Wowie. It's a lot of money. I mean, I could potentially just get... So the... Halfon. Okay, let's just get rid of these two. I need like one more sale. And at least we'll be able to get most of them. Alright, so we'll be able to have most of the white prescriptions now. Alright, stock these shelves. And again, I don't I don't know how these are sold. Because, like, nobody's came in to buy these yet. But then again, I've only had the Apixaban up. So maybe someone just hasn't came in for the Apixaban. And that's why they keep leaving. And they're looking for something else. So let's just make sure we have these stocked on the shelves. And hopefully... I know at least Karen should be able to sell them. Oh, did I buy... Oh, no, no. Okay, they're two different. I'm like, did I buy two of the same Buspirones or... 
So what I'll do is I'll put these on this shelf and then I'll keep an eye on this shelf to see if the pharmacists ever actually come and grab these. Wait, yeah, this guy just took one of the prescription meds. Okay, so it is working. Also, these shelves are a little bit bugged. Okay, well, at least now I know it's working. Okay, so if that's the case and they are working, I really should be stocking all of the white prescriptions now. Because people are going to come for them. All right, it's another day. Let's go on to the next. Like I said, the name of the game here is now... Um... Ooh. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Um, just try to make as much money as possible because, yeah, let's take a look at the bank. Am I in foreclosures? Oh, my God. Back into the amount to be seen. All right, let's jump into a time lapse of people giving me their money. And I wanted to take this opportunity to talk to you guys one on one. A couple of important things that I just kind of wanted to mention regarding this game because it's an early access and it just came out like a little while ago. There's pretty frequent patches and updates. So a lot of the things that you're seeing in the video may be already outdated. That's just something to keep in mind. Like the big one, I couldn't put lights up in the storage rooms. I can now do that, but obviously when the video was recorded, I couldn't. So just keep things in mind. A lot of things that I'm experiencing now might get updated. There's going to be a few game-breaking things that we encounter um, very soon in the next episode or two. And I hope by the time this comes out, those are actually fixed. We'll see. In the time lapse, though, what are we doing? We're stacking our bread. Really, the priority here is to get rid of our debt and... What you guys don't see, although you're seeing the pharmacy, there are bits of me restocking in between. I just got rid of those because I thought they were a little boring. Also, I'd like to take this time to basically ask for feedback in the comments. You guys have been watching these videos. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. Would you like to see something in particular? Is there something that you don't like in the video that you just don't want me to include anymore? Honestly, anything is appreciated as long as it's kind of constructive. If you want to be mean, you can do that too, but you're going to make me cry, so don't. Hey everybody, I spent a little time just AFKing and I just moved a couple of things around. I'm trying to think of since last time I was here. I think I bought one more shelf. I bought three or four of these larger shelves. And I think that might be it. And I basically just started organizing my meds. And I thought it would be much easier to just organize everything basically by column instead of kind of sideways. So each column is a single drug. Now, I did all of the non-prescription, so now we have to start on the prescription ones. But, I think we will need a few more shelves. Also, let me check the bank. Okay, so we're almost done with the bank, which is super nice. Go to the store. So, let's buy, like, two shelves that should be enough and then i should have enough money to buy at least one of everything in the white tier and then once i get everything nice and stocked up i think we'll work on getting that green tier license and start stacking all of those and then i've been trying to slowly get rid of this stuff but that takes forever but also i want to get everything in alphabetical so it's much easier to do it like this. And here's the other thing. I'm not going to do it all completely alphabetical as far as like the white, green, red, and non. 
What I'm going to do is get it alphabetical in its separate categories. You might be asking why? Well, because when I order things, it comes in alphabetical. So it's so much easier to grab it one by one alphabetically and put it. But it, so then I could just go here, come back here, go back here, go back here instead of like ones here, ones here, ones here. So I know in real life you put everything in alphabetical order across for the sake of the game and ease and ordering and stocking we're gonna go have this stuff in order and then here is gonna start the green prescriptions in order i just think that's the easiest way okay so let's go to the white prescriptions let's go ahead and buy one of each and i should have enough okay so we had basically just enough but yeah as you can see when i grab them they do come in order so this is my last roll right here and what I try to do is put one or two in every single one so I kind of realize. The other hard part about stocking in this game is the fact that once all of the product is completely gone, it's hard to remember where things like basically should have been. But what's nice is if they're in a giant column like this, I guess I'm just hoping there's at least one left when I stock. That way it kind of signifies, okay, this entire column is this medication. To make it so much easier so once i have all of the white prescriptions in here we'll kind of will be all hunky dory for basically everything we have unlocked so far and then like i said at that point i'm gonna go ahead and continue save up another three four k and then we'll buy our green license or whatever license is next we'll get those medications and we'll really kind of get rolling i feel like i just now basically kind of got my footing now that i have a little bit of money i'm almost out of debt i have some shelves to actually fill oh my god did i make oh no no we're good we're good i thought i just placed the whole thing of a pixaban in there i'm like wait a minute that wasn't the right thing to put down We're going to go ahead and do this all together on camera and then the other goal hopefully is to buy extra boxes of all of the medications so i don't like right now i'm just putting one box but that's just kind of as a placeholder but i really should be buying two or three boxes making sure that it's completely full and then having a little extra to put in in case it does get a little low and empty oh there is a chance we might need to buy one more shelf which is okay because we'll make a lot of money today especially with everything here now and basically stocked and then we will also have to work on the same kind of deal with the product shelves. And likely I'll do something of similar where I'll do the basically the column method to try to keep everything as organized as possible. But this is the first time that we've managed to buy an entire set of these first prescriptions. I haven't had this opportunity before because I've never really had the money to buy every single one. Okay, and I definitely, I think we can place one more and then, or actually technically two more, and then we'll need to get a new shelf here. You know what, I might end up just buying a new shelf right now before I get, like, before I inevitably accidentally confuse myself. So let's go ahead and move this over there, put that over there, and we'll make sure that we're not confusing ourselves. And a lot of these medications I could move over to, that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Okay, so we need to go to the store, to the furniture, pharmacy shelf. Okay, and I can only afford one more, so um, I, th I think this is going to be either just enough. So we have six more slots. I think this will actually be perfect. So we have six slots, and we have exactly six places. So this will be exactly how much space I need, which is kind of crazy. Which puts us in good position to kind of clear out the rest of the stuff and get prepared for the next one. I know I have a lot of this stuff. You know, I could even, like, let me just go ahead and grab it off the shelf prematurely because I know I have a bunch of it. There we go. Make it nice and easy and even start. Oh, that shelf is full, full. That's what I like to see. Okay, this should be, okay, we should be continuing to the peas here. And then, I don't know, once we, our pharmacy is, like, absolutely bumping, 
Maybe I'll create a double shelf system where each drug basically has two columns. But we're not exactly there yet. So we're going to keep rolling with what we're doing here. And then again, the important part for me is now I have the stock. I have the space. I have it all organized. I'm just going to have to make sure that I don't completely run out of anything. So I don't like accidentally forget what's there. And it, look, even if I accidentally do forget what's there, there's so many ways I can figure out just by ordering a new set and seeing where it comes and even looking at footage and yeah, there's different ways that I can do that, but there we go. So these are our completed shelves of non-prescription and the first, I always forget, what is, is it green or white? I'm, I always forget. Let's see, license, okay, white. So we have our non-prescription and our white. I really should, I should order some more non-prescription just to fill them up. And then, ooh, it looks like I'm getting kind of low on this other thing. But I also have to like start taking the time of removing this stuff and putting it over here. But what I might do is the next time I order it, I'll use the box. Because that's the easiest way to do it. Because if I do this, I have to do it one by one. And see, I have to like find it. So it's easier when I just do an order and then just use the box. So I'll make sure to do that. Well, either way, let's go ahead and start the day. I can't do another order for non-prescriptions until we get a little bit more money to actually make that order. But, I mean, honestly, those shelves are kind of looking nice now. Fenolef, what is this? Can I... Do I have any more Fenolef left? I don't know why I have so much of this, because even here, I'm not, I don't have enough space. This is actually just extra once again. I wonder... I mean, I could just take a few of these. Here we go, Fenolef. And again, see, I saw that one, so I'm like, okay, I know what column it goes in. And I don't actually know what I'm going to do with these shelves, because... I mean, I don't really want them or need them. What's the point of taking up space in here with, you know, bad shelving? So I'm, I'm likely gonna, I don't know, put them in the warehouse or something.